Hello YouTubers, this is Joe from Mauritanian TV. Now today, I'm going to be going back over uh, the Pluto video I published just a day or so ago, uh, my most recent video, uh, because something else has come to light which has thrown a, a, a bit of doubt into some of what I may have suggested in that video, that uh, this is not down to pixelation or JPEG artefacts. Uh, which I put in in the actual text of the video. So I'm gonna, first of all, I'm going to demonstrate what I mean by showing you not a picture of Pluto, but a picture of Charon, which is apparently Pluto's moon. Now, how how uh, um, <laughs> how Pluto can be described as not being a planet anymore is ridiculous. If it has a moon, then it must be a planet. Surely, I find that rather strange. Um, now, this is a picture of Sharon, which has been taken very recently. I'll have links to all these images, as usual, below in the description, so you can download and check these yourself. Now, at first glance, it looks like, oh, that, yeah, that looks like a moon. That looks pretty moon-like. Uh, small planetoid moon-type thing. Uh, it's in colour, I think. This isn't a black and white image. Uh, it may look black and white, but... Um, I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> I should have checked that before I started. I will uh, add details about that later, anyway. Right, now, when you zoom into this image, it's quite clear that this image is either a fake image or it's a very poor quality image that has been compressed massively and then rotated because what you have is a load of chromatic aberrations all over this image and if I show you an enhanced version of it like this where it's been looked, I've really cranked up the contrast on this then you can really see that the whole picture is basically a pile of crap and it's impossible it's almost impossible to determine what is actually a real feature on this picture like these mountainous parts and this kind of valley part here uh, those look like normal features but it's such bad quality that actually you cannot really determine what you're looking at at all here because the whole image breaks up in instantly the minute you enhance the contrast into these blocks and squares now this is basically where the image has been compressed these are compression lines or now <laughs> One or two things may have happened here, and the same goes for the Pluto image that I, I covered in my previous uh, couple of videos. Either of these images are composite images, which are made up of more than one photo, and one of the photos was taken at a different angle, then it's been rotated and overlaid on top of another image. Now, what that means is, is that you have one image where the pixels are going left to right, up and down, and possibly a second image where the pixels are going the other way, which means they're, they're, they're at a 45, approximately 45 degree angle. It may not be exactly 45 degrees, it may be 46 or 47 degrees by the looks of it. Uh, that doesn't look quite 45 to me. But when you, when, you look, when you zoom in, you've got all these diagonal lines and squares. Now, of course, a square on its, on its side, it looks like a diamond. So basically, you've got all these diamond shapes everywhere. But they are actually squares. And I think the image has been rotated. As one, one or two um, of, of people on those videos have pointed out that these are uh, not high quality images and this is true now initially they look quite good they're better than the JPEGs these are TIFF images which means they should be a lot bigger than they are now for example if you look at uh, some of these other pages where are they here we go now this is from the Viking mission now, I recently done a video about this uh, Viking mission, but I haven't, it's, it's, it's up on my page, but it won't be out for a couple of days yet. I'm, I'm withholding it for now because there's so much on, on Pluto going on. So that, this will be coming up in a couple of days' time, uh, two or three days. Now, basically, we have here 
what is a properative image and if you look at this one here this one is 58.7 megabytes this one's 60 this one here is 60 now that's the sort of size i would expect to see of a planet now <laughs> bear in mind the viking missions were in the mid 70s now uh, these are high def high quality images okay now this is a a long time ago this is uh 40 years ago 34 well 90, uh, mid 70s i mean it's it's a long time ago these were taken so there's no reason why we are we should be getting such crappy little images like this which are only 3.1 megabytes here's that picture of pluto that everyone's been looking at and, and the press have published everywhere so why are we getting such small poor quality compressed and dodgy images that have been which are composite images to start with which is dodgy in the first place which effectively means that they're unreliable they're not actual photos they're composite images made up of a number at least two images where one of them has a certain detail like the the terrain detail and the other one may have color detail and, and other details and they've mingled them together basically they've overlaid one onto the other to get a composite image which is made up of at least two as far as i can work out and, and it does mention that on the page uh, the sharon page down here now this is the sharon image of course uh which i showed you a minute ago the image has been compressed to reduce the file size for transmission to earth in high contrast areas of the image features as small as three miles five kilometers across can be seen some lower contrast detail is obscured by the compression of the image right okay so basically what they're saying is is the, the compression lines um are destroying the detail uh, and there wasn't that much detail to start with so basically they're rubbish images uh if you want to do any up close inspection of these pictures um if you enhance them in any way they're just going to break up the uncompressed version still resides in the horizon's computer memory and is scheduled to be transmitted at a later date no so it doesn't say when uh, the, these proper high-res images are going to be transmitted i appreciate they're very busy at the moment uh, uh with this, this mission the new horizon stuff so that is not a, a complete surprise but i do wonder sometimes why they even bother giving us these images I mean, basically, these are press, are low grade press release images they're, they've given us here. They're not proper TIFF images that we're used to from NASA of, of planetoids or planet, planets in our solar system. So basically, they're, I'm not saying that they're faking the images, but when I show you, let me show you this again. Now, let me show you the negative of that. And this really brings it home how poor this is now when you zoom in you can see these huge diagonal lines going across it with blocks and and uh, squares all over it now this may be to an extent what happened with the uh, Pluto image that I did in my last two videos I don't think all of it is though because actually some of these squares or structures I should say are actually on the planet now have they done have they deliberately done this so that, that they're obscuring the detail probably or have they just done it because of the the file size quite possible i cannot actually tell you uh what they're up to here now it it looks to me like these images have been deliberately obfuscated in other words they've over compressed them they didn't need to compress them that much they could have done a a, a a lower compression rate and uh the, the images would have still been a reasonable size that anyone could have downloaded most people can download images you know which are 10 meg or 20 meg or 50 meg or 60 or 70 even you know uh and, and if they don't want those larger images they can just pick the smaller jpeg image to download onto their mobile device for instance so there we have it it looks like a lot of these squares are actually compression lines but because the image has been rotated they're going the wrong way 
So have they done that to deliberately confuse everyone? Don't know. Certainly confused me a bit, but actually the problem is I, I do actually think there are some genuine structures on these on these uh, planetoids here that are possibly uh, intelligently designed. Now the problem is um, if they're doing this to the images, you're never really going to be able to tell what's what on the surface. And as I showed in this um, video here, you, you have a similar problem with Pluto here. But I do actually think that these particular um, structures on this side are genuine because they have quite deep shadows and form to them. A lot of the other crap in this image is down to pixelation and compression what you call chromatic aberration caused by over compressing the images in the in a jpeg format uh, so probably what they've done they've compressed these down to jpegs and then they've turned it back in turned it back into a tiff image to make it look like it's a proper image but actually i don't think that's the case but i do stand by my initial um thoughts on this pluto image here that these larger structures here on the left over here above the the, the hexagonal crater are probably genuine um, because they are so much more defined than every, all the others. A lot of this other stuff is just crap, with compression lines and, and rubbish. But some of these are quite defined. Uh, and to me, look like they are actually in the image and not some sort of compression line that's, that's happened in the processing. So we will find out. We will have more images to come. And as we get more close-up close -up images, we should get some higher definition images that haven't been over compressed. It would be nice, just for once, if NASA actually gave us some images that haven't been messed with. Just once. You know, who are these people? Why, why are they doing this? Why can't they just give us real photographs and raw data? We get all this, a lot of this stuff is crap, false color. Yeah, uh, these are over compressed. A lot of these images are over compressed. They're resized. They muck around with the color. They, they're they're overlaying one image on top of another. They're doing all sorts of crap with these images. I'm not saying all of them are crap, but it's really getting to a point now where it's becoming a joke. And if if you're trying to do close up image research here, and you're trying to define what's going on on the surface of these planetoids and moons, then it's almost impossible because they're mucking around with images. Luckily, we do have some like this. Now, this is this is um, the bright spots on Ceres. Now, I haven't done one on a video on Ceres yet, so I thought I'd do a quick mention of this. I'm not going to spend long on this. I'm just going to show you. There's a lot of these images now, and actually, these aren't too bad. They're still not full size images. They should be a lot larger, but they're they're on the whole not terribly terrible quality. But these are closer up, so you're going to see more detail. So basically, the probe is a lot closer. Um, but you can clearly see here that the lights on Ceres actually show on the dark side of the planet when it's in shadow, which means they are not ice, they are not mineral deposits, they are lights. And if they are lights, what does that mean? There's intelligent life on this planet. Now, this may be a mining operation. This may be some kind of outpost or base. I, I couldn't tell you. But when you look at this image, for instance, this side of the planet is now in, in almost complete darkness. And those lights show up. I will put some close-ups of these in at the end of the video. And since when, anyway, did, did ice look that bright especially in the dark i mean this is ridiculous how can they come out with this crap saying that this is a uh, ice formation or, or mineral deposits on the surface utter bunkum and the fact is if those are real lights and those are intelligent signs of intelligent life out there then it's highly likely that the pluto and and uh, chiron may have some signs of previous habitation where somebody may have built a, a mining colony there or done some done some sort of uh, work on the planet for or just stopped off there and lived there for a while who knows um, <laughs> so I mean if this is what it is and it, and it probably is what it, I just said it is 
then that throws everything that, that, that we are being told into doubt because they're lying about that. And if they're lying about that, they're probably lying about everything else. We know they've been lying about the moon and they're also giving us a load of BS about Mars. Uh, there seems to be a massive cover-up going on here, which has been going on for decades and decades. And anyone who's done any serious research into the matter will tell you the same. Uh, it's not just me. I mean, there are thousands of researchers out there, many, many writers and researchers that have looked into these things and have all come to the same conclusion, which is basically we are being lied to and they are deceiving us. So when it comes to images like these, where, where we're getting... Now, this is a TIFF image. This should be 60 megabytes, 70 megabytes. But no, how big is the file size? Let's have a look. Uh, 2.38 megabytes. That is ridiculous. That's no better than a crappy JPEG. So why even bother giving us the TIFF? You know, this is an absolute joke. The JPEGs you get from the European Space Agency are much better quality than this. And they're JPEGs, for God's sake. You know, they're not TIFFs. So what are they up to? They're deceiving us. And when you, all you have to do is enhance the contrast, and these things turn to crap. You cannot see anything here, and it's almost impossible to determine what is fake and what is real. So what is the point? One of my, one of my subscribers said the other day, could you actually show me an image that, that NASA haven't doctored? And I couldn't do that. I could not give that person a link to an undoctored image because everything we get has been doctored, it's either been recolored or it's been resized or over compressed or rotated and merged with some other image. What is the matter with these people? Are they doing it under duress? Probably. They're probably, you know, the military are probably there with putting guns at them saying, right, you know, obfuscate this, obfuscate that. We don't want the public to see any of this. This is a military secret. You're now under the aus auspices of either the CIA or the Department of Homeland Security or, or the National Security Agency or something like that. Who the hell are these people and what the hell are they doing? They're not trying to inform us. They're disinforming us at almost every level. The ev almost every single image you get is either over-compressed or doctored. What the hell are they doing? And it's imposs almost impossible for any researchers to determine what is real and what is fake. What the hell are we supposed to do with this stuff? You know, where's the, where's the proper high-res imagery? Uncompressed, unfettered, undoctored. That's what we want. That's all we're asking for.